you have to just say chest, you will be taken directly to cath lab. So that amount of uh, coronary angiograms are done. So one story goes that uh, one of the interventional cardiologists saw the patient on the cath lab table. So many of the interventional cardiologists see the patient first time on the cath table. So before he poked his renal radial artery, the interventional cardiologist asked, what is your problem? Many people do not ask, but this fellow has asked. So what is your problem? That fellow said, I came to give a courier. So, so anybody enters a big hospital, ultimately it goes to the cath lab for a coronary angiogram. But you must know what is the difference between an electrocardiogram and a coronary angiogram. Coronary angiogram is a luminogram. It gives you the lumen of a big epicardial coronary artery. That's all it gives you. It gives you the lumen of a big epicardial coronary artery, whether they are obstructed or not, is the information given by coronary angiogram. That's why it is called luminogram. Whereas electrocardiogram gives you the ultimate perfusion of the myocardium. Electrocardiogram tells you whether your myocardial cell is receiving blood or not. Whereas coronary angiogram tells you your big vessels are normal. Still the myocardium may not receive blood supply because the block is in the medium vessels, in the capillaries or in the arterioles. But ECG will tell you whether the myocardial cell is receiving blood or not. Whereas coronary angiogram gives you whether the big epicardial coronary arteries are normal. For example, once again I come to the river because we are in the banks of uh, Kaveri. So the coronary angiogram tells you that the Kaveri river is normal. But the electrocardiogram tells you whether the plant is getting water or not. In spite of your Kaveri getting water, the plant may not get water because your smaller water pathways may be obstructed or so. So the ECG tells you whether the plant is getting water or not. Angiogram tells you whether your Kaveri river is normal or not. That's why ECG gives you much more information than coronary angiogram. Second, ECG also gives you a very important information about the viability of myocardium. ECG not only tells you whether the myocardium is receiving blood or not, whether that myocardium is healthy or scarred. So that is the most crucial information. Whenever you have a coronary angiogram and you have a block in the coronary arteries, you would like to know whether the blocked coronary artery is supplying a healthy myocardium or a dead myocardium or a scar. If the blocked artery is going to supply a scar, there is no point in opening an artery. There is a purpose of opening artery is useful only when the blocked artery is supplying a healthy myocardium. That information is given only by electrocardiogram. So, so after doing a coronary angiogram, you look at the electrocardiogram to decide whether your coronary artery obstruction needs to be opened or not because the 